Uh, now, this, of course, coming on the back of Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's rising rhetoric. He's once again under fire. He's just come back home from a session in Davos where he compared his country's tense ties with Beijing with that of Germany and Britain right before World War I. Now, this is important because 2014 marks 100 years since the start of World War I. China has urged Japan to face up to history and correct its misunderstanding of history. Uh, Jin Ying Chao has more details. Speaking on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said China and Japan were in a similar situation to Britain and Germany before 1914. The conflict erupted between the two countries despite strong economic ties. He said both China and Japan should take lessons from that. In response, China's foreign ministry again urged Abe to face up to history and rectify his understanding of history. The Japanese leader should have a correct understanding of history. It would be better to face up to what Japan did to China before World War I and in modern history than to say stuff about pre-World War I British-German relations. Japan should learn from its history of aggression and colonial rule and keep in mind the great sufferings its fascist war had inflicted on the peoples of victimized countries. Meanwhile, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, who is attending the Geneva Two Peace Talks on Syria in Montreux, called on the international community to be alert and confront Japan for its wrongdoings. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited the Yasukuni Shrine despite all the opposition. His intention was very clear. He wanted to justify Japan's invasion. I believe everyone with a conscience and every country standing by international justice cannot accept this. Lessons of history should be learned. I call on the international community to form a united front and stop such actions that attempt to reverse history. Abe is reported to have claimed several times that 14 Class A convicted World War II criminals enshrined at the Resukuni Shrine were not criminals in Japan. He also said he deeply regretted not having visited the shrine during his first term as prime minister. His visit to the shrine last December came under strong criticism, further exacerbating Japan's relations with China and its regional neighbors. Jun Chao, CCTV.